This course is for students who want to improve their skills in finance and make them more employable. The course is not only academic, but it's also practical. We do SAGE and payroll, and there are also softwares that improve students' employability. With studying with us, it doesn't only prepare them to have these creative ideas and being able to identify opportunities uh, to help the business grow. It's also helped them to be able to identify opportunities to be able to set up a business. Not everybody wants to be a business owner. Some people aspire to manage other people's businesses. So we also prepare them to be good managers uh, within the business world because then they will have what those necessary skills to be able to what, work with other people to, to get the best out of uh, the business in general. You're going to understand strategy, you're going to understand innovation, you're going to understand the way that European Union works. What that tries to do really is to blend two main areas, I think. One is global finance and the other is strategy and strategic thinking. So hopefully at the end of the course you'll have a much better view of strategy and how that is supported by global finance. The opportunities could be in New York, uh, because New York has very close links with London, or it could actually literally be just outside this door really in Canary Wharf, because uh, Canary Wharf is full of some of the biggest finance companies in the world. In this course, uh, I learned on the upper level, on the international level, how the company is running. I improved my uh, financial skills, my management skills, and uh, I improve my thinking power. So how I can uh, solve the problems if I'm working with the company or in my uh, daily routine, in my personal life. What we then focus on really is we start looking at international markets and how they developed over the last uh, few years. And we look at those international markets in terms of trade. So we also talk about European Union and we talk about specific trading zones that have developed in recent years. Uh, some of those trading areas can be described as customs unions or uh, uh, free trade areas, such as North American free trade area. So we look at that and we compare it with the European Union. The other thing that we're focused on is currency and uh, the optimal currency system that you'd use for uh, running a country. Some people think that the European Union has the best system, but other people challenge that. So it's about debating what is the best system to use. It's a university that their strategic intents are aligned with what the government expectations are. So we aspire to equip our students with the expertise and graduate attributes needed to be able to achieve the full potential with the global economy. One of the things that we use on the course is a lot of case studies and examples. Um, and generally we give the case studies to students. They engage with them, they discuss them in class. The assignments are very relevant to their work as well on the course, I think that they will do very well.